What's good everybody? Now before you freak out from the title of this video, allow me to explain, okay? I get a lot of heat for using heat on my hair. I'm gonna use high heat and high speed. I usually use high heat and high speed, and I'm gonna use high heat and high speed, as it is a known culprit for hair damage. Why, you might ask? What damage could this be causing? And is there really a way to protect your hair from the heat? Can I still use heat and have healthy hair? We need answers. And that is what we shall discover in today's video. We about to get nitty gritty with it. Q scientific Mel. Mel, 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 Mel. Mel with the double L. Hi everyone, I'm Scientific Mel. It's great to be here. I will be answering all of your questions asked by Amanda. Hi, how are you? I am amazed by Mel Seaster, just in case you didn't know who I am. Um, so Don't. the first question I have listed here on the storyboard is what is hair? Which I'm pretty sure nobody's asking, but you're gonna answer it anyways, aren't you? This is my favorite question. Thank you for asking. Now the hair shaft has three parts. Deep inside there is the medulla that not even everyone has, fun fact. Then on the outside there is the cortex. This makes up the majority of the hair. It holds all the pigments and the melanins and the proteins. And it is all surrounded and encompassed by the cuticle, which is the outer part which we can see that makes our hair look nice and shiny or feel rough and dry. And you, well I can tell you have a cute tickle. So now that we have some background, go ahead and ask me your questions about the heat. So that was great, even though no one really cared. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. We really want to know, what will heat do to our hairs? Well, in a nutshell, those keratin proteins that give your hair strength will break down and die. Holy sh No, well, <laughs> the outer surface of your hair, that cute tickle, will break down, crack, and fray, like hay. The pigments that give your hair its color in both dyed hair and with natural colored hair will change. The vibrancy will fade, the tone will change, you will lose your shine, and your hair will be dull. Just in a nutshell. <clears throat> oh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Is that my cue? All right, so now that you've pretty much scared everyone off watching this video, for those of us that are still watching, we want to know how much heat is too much heat? This is a very good question. Thank you for asking. Now first, let's get into heat. Let me put some things into perspective for you. Like what is really hot, okay? If you think boiling water, so 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, this is the boiling point of water, the point of where water will evaporate and turn into steam. Now the average hot tool, like a straightening iron or a curling iron, will heat up to on average 185 to 230 degrees Celsius. That's about 360 to 450 Fahrenheit. That's, that's drastically, that's drastically hotter. Okay, I'm sweating. And well, this question has two answers because using heat on wet hair is different from using heat on dry hair. The two will have a different reaction. You see, healthy hair can hold up to 30% of its weight in water. Even more damaged hair with a lot of porosity can hold even more water into its strands. Therefore, if you are using high heat when there is moisture and water in your cortex, that moisture will come to a boil and it will steam. And that steam will have to leave your hair strand. And where can it leave? Through your cuticle. And it's gonna burst through your cuticle like popcorn. Destroying everything in its path. Well, that cute tickle. Not so cute. Not so cute. Not so cute. That's all I'm saying. Now, on dry hair, even if the hair is very dry, using heat on dry hair is also very dangerous because you can cause a loss of pigment in your hair. It is going to eat away at your cuticle, chipping away at it and basically destroying the proteins that are your hair. All of this damage is going to lead to dull hair, split ends, breakage, all that fun stuff. Oh, another question? Yep. So why would we want to use heat? Well, you see, there's a lot of benefits to using heat on your hair. I find that hard to believe after you said all that. <sighs> it's 
funny you say that, but obviously the biggest benefit to using heat on your hair is the efficiency. Heat will accelerate any hair processes. If you're coloring hair, although it's really not recommended, it will accelerate that process. While using heat, the hair is easier to manipulate. So if you are setting a style into your hair, it will get you better results and faster. So that's why we use heat. It makes sense. Ahem! This <laughs> It's like I'm here all along. All right, Melly. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> I meant to say scientific. I like her. She sounds cute. <laughs> okay. How's her cute tickle? <laughs> Okay. So how can we use heat safely? Now, I am so glad you asked. If you're like me, you may be using heat on your hair every time you wash your hair, which for me is one to two times a week. And 99.9% .9 of those times, I am using heat with my diffuser. Now the thing about using a diffuser is you're not highly manipulating the hair. You don't want to be highly manipulating the hair into a whole new shape. So from curly, to straight. Instead, if you're using heat by encouraging the curl, by diffusing, you're not going to be doing nearly as much damage. This is much more indirect heat compared to compressing in between a flat iron. Flat iron. Flat iron me. Now another obvious thing you can do is lower the heat setting. So multiple heat settings is best beneficial for multiple hair types and multiple hair results that you are trying to achieve. Depending on your hair type, you may need to use less heat or you may need even more heat. It's nice to have the option depending on the type of style you are going to create. What I really like about the Dyson hair dryer that I have been using for years, and yes, it is an investment, but one thing they promise is no heat damage because the dryer simply does not get hot enough to damage the hair. A reason why I always diffuse on high heat and high speed. The highest heat this blow dryer will go is 100 degrees Celsius. Remember, 100 degrees Celsius is boiling point of water. So don't use heat on soaking wet hair. When you can, squeeze out any excess dripping water, towel dry if you need to, plop if you can, prior to drying your hair with heat. But of course, when you're diffusing, especially when you're using the hover diffuse method, this indirect heat will not damage your hair. And lastly, for safe heat styling, it is always recommended to use a heat protecting product. So, right, what, what heat protection should I use? Take my money, take my money. Which one should I use? Which one? Well, I'll definitely take your money. <laughs> Before you pull out your wallets, <laughs> let me just put that in there. What if I told you that you may already be using products that have heat protectants in them? Yeah, okay. Hey, it's my money now. <laughs> Here comes the mind blow. Ready? Studies have shown that the results of the PDP, DDP, and A actually is copolymer. Okay, no one cares. Just get to the Qua point. Quaternium 70. <laughs> okay, just come on and hydrolyzed wheat protein, I can pronounce that one, on the hair when using a hot tool resulted in 10 to 20% less damage. Wow. Mm -hmm. Many ingredients can work to protect your hair. This one's my favorite. Silicones in particular have low thermal conductors, which means that when they are coating the hair fibers, they are preventing heat from entering the hair shaft by transferring heat slowly, allowing it to cool before it actually gets to the center, causing damage from the inside out. And on top of that, silicones also help to prevent moisture loss by sealing in the hair cuticle, which is also going to prevent from more hair damage. It's going to prevent all of that, a lot of that, most of that, depending on how many silicones you use. Basically, the more silicones in your products, the more heat protection you're gonna get. So I don't wanna hear any more shit about silicones. Well, Amanda, audience, how do you feel knowing what you now know? Relieved slash overwhelmed slash not quite sure. All right, about well, life. here are some final tips to take away from this video. Unless you're using temperatures that are above boiling point, Heat damage is not really an issue. 
Hot water will not make your hair color fade or damage your hair unless it is above boiling point. Heat protecting products can be found anywhere because it's not just the product, it's the ingredients. Silicones really aren't scary, especially since they can protect you from extreme heat damage. Use them to your advantage. If you aren't sure if your hair is dry before going in with a straightener or curling iron, touch the hair and feel if it is cold. If the hair is cold, it is wet. Cold hair is wet hair. If you are setting the hair, let it cool in the style you are setting before releasing it for better hold. If your hair is finer and more fragile, avoid using higher heat settings and use heat protectants that have proteins in them to help strengthen your hair as well as to coat and protect. And lastly, you need to hear this. You probably aren't damaging your hair from diffusing on high heat, especially not if you are using my hover diffuse method. I need my diffuser. Diffuser. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link you there right after this. But basically, that is the tea on heat. This has been quite scientific. I hope you are completely melt busted. And for more content like this, make sure you are subscribed with post notifications on because we do post on this channel every Texture Tuesday. Let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend that needs to hear this and leave a comment in the section below letting us know what you want to see next. This has been Mains by Mel, Scientific Mel, out. Peace! Oh. Am I straight? No, stop. There. Hammer time? It's gonna be hot. What's good? TikTok is really getting to me if you haven't added me on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. Okay. I need my lab coat. And my glasses. My glasses. That transformation though. Thank you so much. I think it's crooked. <laughs> I think my prescription's off. Buckle in, kids. Oh, it is crooked, isn't it? Ow, stab. Well, allow me to further explain. Should I? No. Okay. <laughs> what is hair? What are you? Who am I? Now, the hair shaft has three parts to it. In the middle, there's the meldula. Sorry, medulla. <laughs> Mel. <laughs> and <laughs> then there's the hortex. She's in the middle. She's always in the middle. Sorry, the cortex. <laughs> there's the... <laughs> then there's the, the core. Like, like your, your core. And last but not least, it's all surrounded in this wonderful condom like... Um... <laughs> it's not... Like... Our videos are... We put them not for kids, right? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> um, if you're here... And you're a kid. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs>